Hello everyone, and let me tell you something really important right away. I wasn't active on my channel for almost a week, and yeah, I know, that's crazy. <laughs> but do you want to know what I've been busy with? Well, I was actually making a huge video regarding the whole Skibidi Zombie Multiverse, and I can already promise to you that it's definitely going to be worth all the wait. So here's what I'm planning to do. In this video, I'll analyze the 46th episode of Zombie Universe. Then Verlance is going to be next. And then I'll upload this huge video I was working on for almost a week. So be sure that you are subscribed to my channel, not to miss a whole bunch of my new awesome videos. And now I'll analyze episode 46 oh of Skibidi my. Zombie Universe for you, and find all its secrets and details that you could have missed on your own. What is the main secret of the renewed zombie Skibidi scientist, and why he's so dangerous now? What are the unique combat abilities of Zombie Skibidi Kleiner, and why he appeared in this particular moment. And most importantly, how this episode hints at Dom Studio's multiverse, and why two universes may collide really soon. If you want to know the answers to all these questions, then get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end, because I saved the best part for later as always. And let's go. But before I'll start digging into episode 46, let me remind you real quick about the events of the previous episode, so you won't get too confused about what has actually been going on. So, episode 45 starts with Plungerman falling from a shuttle without a jetpack, and during the fall he gets attacked by an infected speaker man, but Plungerman manages to fend him off. He then latches onto a falling cargo which contains a robotic suit belonging to Speakerman's race, and uses it as his own and thus survives the heavy landing. As he gets into the suit, Plungerman becomes nearly unstoppable obliterating enemies with his robotic fists and machine guns. He also unites his powers with the fellow Speakerman in the same suit which finally begins the collaboration between the Alliance and Speakerman's race. During the battle, some zombies seem to turn transparent and display a content-deleted message before disappearing, which surprises both Plungerman and his Speakerman comrade, as they don't have such technology yet and that could either hint at the possible intervention of the Plague Doctor himself, who may be recalling his minions due to his shaky position after Red Drillman's betrayal, or something much more epic. And I'll tell you what it is later in today's analysis. The fight intensifies when Plungerman faces off against an infected Big Speaker Man, but he defeats him with a road post. And then Skibidi Scientist reappears, who is now infected with a new zombie strain that transforms him into a scorpion-like creature. This strange new form was not that well received by fans at first, so Monster Up changed his appearance by episode 46. The episode ends with a scene at the destroyed Speakerman's base, where Titan Cameraman finds the remains of Titan Siren, who was previously ripped apart by Red Titan Drillman, and it seems that the Alliance has plans to recover these damaged Titans for future use, despite their current state as it already happened with Zombie Titan Drillman. Okay, so now, when your memory is refreshed and you're all set and ready, episode 46 is already on your screens. But before I'll dive into actual analysis, let me remind you to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content I'm making. Because something really crazy is coming soon and you don't want to miss it. So if you are subscribed now, let's get back to the episode. And it starts with something really funny, actually. Plungerman sees the huge upgraded Skibidi scientist and this time there is a sign next to him with the image of his body, as well as the words, Monster Down Designer of the Year. And Skibidi Scientist here is also titled as Mr. Krabs. And of course, it's another cheeky remark from Monster Up himself who decided to redesign the appearance of the upgraded zombie scientist, because both his team and his fans didn't really like the final result from episode 45. And then Zombie Scientist crushes down this sign as if he was saying, this is in the past now, because I look much cooler, you know so he shows off a completely new design of himself, which I of course dig much better than the last one. He finally resembles the scorpion more than a crab as it's intended to be. Because as you remember from the secret scene, Skibidi Scientist was actually infected with zombie scorpion strain by the Plague Doctor, and not the crab one. And aside from his new awesome looking claws, Zombie Scientist also got the scorpion's mandibles near his mouth. And you know what is also inside of his mouth? It is the body of the original Skibidi Scientist who is serving like a pilot of this whole pile of rotten zombie flesh, and it's looking really cool. Overall, the new design of Zombie Scientist looks almost undefeatable, 
So I think that Monster Up and his team did a wonderful job animating him. But I think it's also pretty obvious that Plunger Man is supposed to aim at the scientist's mouth because that's where the key element of this whole construction is hidden in. But both Plungerman and his Speakerman comrade have no intentions to fight such a terrifying enemy right away, so they prefer to hide themselves at first to think through everything they know. Meanwhile, Zombie Scientist notices one of those frozen zombies that already appeared an episode before with the sign content deleted next to them. And even though the scientist is zombie and kind of brain rotten right now, he still has the scientific nature and interest, so he takes one of these zombies in his claw and tries to look at them closer. But this zombie vanishes right in front of his face. And in my last analysis, I've made the correlation that their disappearance might be connected to Dave calling some of his minions back, but that doesn't really make sense considering that even Zombie Scientist was surprised at them. So right now, I'm assuming that those frozen zombies were targeted by something from another world, or to be more precise, from another multiverse. And I think that I even know where it all is coming from. But I'll explain everything to you a little bit later, so be sure to watch this video to the end, not to miss anything important. When the mysterious zombie disappears from his hand, Skibidi Scientist comes back to searching for two poor survivors in exosuits, but it's zombie speaker Strider really who makes his work easier, and notices our two guys first. And even though this freak seemed to be no good and literally fall down lifeless after one round of bullets from the speaker man in the robotic suit, that was still enough for our guys to drop their cover. So Zombie Scientist smiles eerily and shoots out some sort of pod from his body which contains another infected person. And man, I never saw this guy in Monster Up's multiverse before, so welcome I guess. And this is Skibidi Kleiner who appeared in all his glory in the second part of episode 68 of Boom's original series, and his zombie look is really similar to his initial design. The only difference is that here Zombie Kleiner got additional hands made of his zombie flesh. But overall, he doesn't look nearly as epic as Zombie Scientist himself. And I believe that the scientist was keeping the pod with Kleiner for situations like this, when there are some smaller enemies only on the battlefield that aren't worthy of spending the scientist's powers on them. So Kleiner will come to work instead. And as the scientist drops him to the ground, he then noticed that one of his so-called fingers has also been affected by the same freeze effect just as one of the zombies which vanished right in the air. And it happened after somebody shot him at this finger, which means that there is someone out there who uses the technologies unknown in this multiverse. Zombie Scientist gets really furious and starts blasting the location of the potential shooter with the powers of his scorpion's tail. And here's even more information regarding the scientist's new appearance, though. Guys, as Monster Up shared something interesting with me about it, so the scientist's tail is one of the most important parts of his entire body, as it contains eight charges, one of which the scientist already used, by the way. And in case of real battle emergency, two of these eight charges are immensely powerful and are capable of breaking through any kind of defense. But besides the tail, he also contains two more charges inside of his spine that are fueling the weapons in his claws, aka hands, as well as two charges inside of his head that are boosting the level of his adrenaline or rage, which can rise any chances for him to survive or even win no matter the circumstances significantly. So yeah, as you can see, Guy Zombie Scientist became an immensely powerful opponent right now, and it won't be easy to take him down again at all. Meanwhile, Zombie Kleiner is approaching Plungerman but doesn't see him yet, so the Speakerman tells us, go check who's shooting and I'll deal with them. So the duo gets separated while the Speakerman attaches two hoverboards to his back for later. Then we see an incredibly epic fight between him and Zombie Kleiner that gets initiated by the Speaker Man, who charges right at his opponent with the help of two hoverboards which are getting him a major speed boost. And they also upgraded his dexterity in this suit in general as they almost made the Speaker Man levitate or slide as if he was ice skating. Zombie Kleiner seems to be quite dexterous as well, but he still looks much more underwhelming in comparison to our Speaker Man. So afterwards, he uses one of the most powerful abilities that he has, namely this huge blue laser coming out of his mouth. But the speaker man is way too good at dodging. And apparently the machine gun that his robotic suit has is also insanely powerful, considering how painfully all of his shots seem to affect Zombie Kleiner as he even gets stunned by them several times. Another round of bullets causes the freak to roar in pain and push himself back blindly. And that's exactly what the speaker man needed, actually. He then baits the freak into charging into the wall and then we see something truly incredible. As Zombie Kleiner tries to attack his little but swift opponent, the Speakerman damages his mechanical arm quite badly in the epic slow motion, 
and then quickly turns around and pierces his bigger hand to the wall like a fly. And while Zombie Kleiner was writhing in pain, the speakerman came back once more and literally crushes the bones inside of his alternative zombie flash hand. And even though Kleiner is a walking dead at this point, he's still screaming in agony like crazy. But the speaker man still isn't done here. And as Kleiner is defenseless for him right now, he starts beating the hell out of the freak's face so badly that we can even see a tooth flying out of his mouth. But unfortunately, our speaker man got so immersed into the freak's beating that he didn't even notice how he partly broke out of his prison and then got his little revenge by piercing the speaker man's robotic suit by the very same detail that the speaker man previously used to piece the Kleiner's bigger hand. And right now, it's the speaker man who's in the terrible danger right now, and I wonder if he'll manage to escape as well. Okay, and meanwhile, we're getting back to Plungerman, whose mission was to figure out who was unexpectedly helping them by shooting zombies in this multiverse. And all he manages to see is this mysterious purple portal that closes right when Plungerman glimpses at it. And doesn't it look really similar to some of you guys? Well, the thing is that this portal looks almost identical to the one that the Alpha used in Dom Studio's Skibidi Multiverse. For example, in episode 29, she was able to summon the powerful Counter Titan out of it. So could this mean that the portals we saw in Monster Up's universe are linked to Dom Studio's series? Because we already saw many interconnections between these two multiverses. I mean, the Knight was able to teleport Titan Clockman and Red Titan Drillman in here, and we also saw the presence of lots of Clockman and Drillman. So it would be pretty logical to assume that this portal may hint at Dom Studio once again. But was it really the Alpha who opened it, though? Because at the beginning of this episode, we could see several shots that were aimed at Zombie Scientist, which means that there was a whole bunch of people coming from that portal. So I had something really crazy in my mind regarding it. What if Monster Up might start another plotline in his series, which would be connected to several multiverses at once? So let me explain. The portal may actually hint at several special agents that arrived here for some specific goal, and the possible reason for their arrival might be the sudden disappearance of several huge and powerful titans from their universe. Plus, we know that some clockmen were also teleported here by the night, but obviously refused to fight Dave and his zombie army so some of them eventually returned to their home universe. But they could have easily spoken about everything they've experienced, especially regarding the mysterious and insanely dangerous Plague Doctor who has the potential to actually infect the other universes with his zombie virus. So the agents from the Dom Studios universe could actually come up with an idea of creating the special elite squad whose main goal would be elimination of the Plague Doctor's minions, as well as Dave himself but they also don't want to openly work with the agents of this world, and that's why they hide for how. Okay, and then Titan Cameraman, together with the restored Astro Duchess, arrive at the Plungerman's aid, and that's how today's episode ends. So in the next episode, we'll definitely see whether our brave speaker man will be saved or not, as well as the insane fight between Scorpion Zombie Scientist and our friends that just arrived. And that was all for today. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you will not miss my new cool videos. And also don't forget to leave your comment about what you think will happen in the future episodes of Skibidi Zombie series, because I'm always interested in what you guys have to say. And that was me, ISO Toilet, see ya.